of them taking your car, locking you up, and losing your job, that means you're going to have problems in your house because now your income is not coming in. Mm-hmm. Now your source of transportation is not there, and now you are locked up in jail. Yeah. Oh, yes. Just because, just because you went out drinking. Amen. So you need to, before you do it, you need to sit down and count up the call. Amen, bro. What's going to happen? Amen. 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 That's good, man. You know, and these scriptures we are reading, man, I tell you what, they are, they are very beautiful scriptures, man. And, uh, the sixth verse, you know, it, it, it tells us a whole lot too, um, Pastor Amica. But now we are delivered from the law that being dead wherein we were held, mm-hmm. that we should serve in newness of the spirit and not in the oldness of the letter, which is the law. Back to the fifth verse, when we were in the flesh, that's in the law. The motions of sins which were by the law did work in our members to bring forth fruit unto death. Like you were saying earlier, every word you were saying is real. When we work in the flesh, which is under the law, these are the things that we do. And everything that we do, it brings forth death because the smoking, the drinking, the, the homework, and all this stuff brings death. Now we are delivered from the law. Thank you, Jesus. We are delivered from the law. That being dead, we are in. We were held. We were held in that. But now, you know, as the believers of Christ, it can't hold us no more. It can't. Why? Because, you know, Jesus came and did away with the law. We are now free. Free as free can be. So these things we do not serve anymore because they say we should serve in newness, should serve in newness. Now, some of us, we still have problems uh, with our flesh like we say we have to kill it daily, but God has made the way for us not to do this anymore because they say we should serve in the newness of the spirit. So uh, if we would still, again, look to Jesus Christ for all of our help, it says he is all about help. Whatever we need, he said, I am that I am. And that is everything, every problem, every, every everything that we go through. Jesus Christ is the answer to these things. But we have to, we have to look to him. We have to lean on him. We have to be humble enough to let him do these things. And, and I promise he will. Now, some may take a little longer than others, you know, because, you know, I, I'm not one to, to judge another, but some takes a little longer than others. We pray that those that need a longer time, that the Lord will really, really do this work, you know, until he comes in these folks. Yes, you know, there are much work for us to do, much, much, much work, and we cannot do it alone, see. Uh, we, we need a whole lot of more laborers out there. And you know, I thank God for, you know, each one of you today. And um, I'm proud of what you're doing. And I, you know, I pray that you continue to do what you're doing. And, man, I tell you, this is wonderful, man. I, you know, when you need the word of God, you know, you got my attention. And I saw myself in some of these scriptures tonight, my brother. So, like I say, man, this is wonderful, man, wonderful. It's just an a iron shop and iron sort of situation here, you know. You're shopping me up as we go along, so I'm just taking this time out to you know say bless you, both of you guys, man, and um uh, whoever else you know that's in you know, on this, you know God bless y'all, man. You know, continue, man, continue. Um, I'm just continue to do it, Amen. And that's all I have to say, man. Amen. God bless you. You just ushered us in. You just ushered us into our next scripture, Romans seven eighteen says, "Well, I know that in my." That in me, mm-hmm. watch what it say. For I mm-hmm. know that in me, and in parentheses, it says that is in my flesh. Amen. Dwell of no good thing. All right. To, 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 is present with me. Mm-hmm. Well, you, 
Yeah, look, watch this. Watch this. As 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 much as I'm working, as much as I'm working, uh -huh. to walk in the walk not in the flesh. Mm -hmm. The flesh is still craving. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> And I, 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 I have to, I have to put the, I have to put the hammer down to my flesh and say, no, nope, you're not going to do it. That's it. No. Nope. Oh, yeah. Keep screaming and yelling. <laughs> you extra standing yeah, there, come on back, baby, come on back, come on back. You know we yeah. had the time, you know what we used to do. Come yeah, on. Yeah, I remember, but we ain't having that no more. That's right. We ain't doing that no more. We, we're not mm -hmm. there. I'm not there no more. It's not an mm -hmm. option. It's not an option. That's it. That's it. And you said something just now. No, it's not an option. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Sin is not an option. Watch that. Mm -hmm. Sin is not an option. Uh -huh. Amen. To willfully mm -hmm. sin is not an option. <laughs> Why? Mm. Because if you willfully sin, then what the Bible says, there's no more remission for sin. There you go. There you go. There you go, brother. So That's you, it. You, you, watch this. Okay. Uh-oh. 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 You, you, you meet a person. You have a conversation. Preferably a young man or a young woman. We're talking about heterosexuals now. Mm -hmm. You meet a person. You're having a date. We said we're gonna have, we're gonna go out. And we're gonna have dinner today. Yes, I believe in hygiene. Go home, wash yourself, take a shower, put on something looking nice. Decent, dressing with modest apparel, mm -hmm. but 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 while you dress it, you don't go to your Victoria's Secrets collection and put on a thong or or or, or stuff to say yeah when he see me in this because he ain't got no business. Uh oh, see he ain't got no business seeing that. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on. <laughs> so, so you dress, you dress right there, right there. You dress with the intention of sin. That's it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Uh huh. I got you. Amen. Dead on it, brother. Dead on it. When you left home, what you was gonna do? You mm -hmm. knew. You yeah. You got the condom in your pocket. So. Yeah, we're going we gonna, to we gonna do this. We're going to do it. And you going to stop and got the hotel room. And this ain't no accident. You know what. And, and hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's, 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 let's put the brakes on there. Because, uh-uh, no, come on, we can go to this hotel. Uh-uh, I ain't going to no hotel. That's right. That's right. You ain't Amen. going to no hotel. No, if you want this, guess what? We're going to wait until our wedding day. First of all, you're going to show commitment to me because you're not going to jump in the bed with me tonight and then tomorrow you're jumping in the bed with somebody else. Lady, lady, lady. Come on. Stop giving away. Stop giving away your most valuable possession. All right. Preach. And don't make, and don't, and watch this. Giving it away without a commitment for the next person. And then you sit there and talk about well, why you didn't call me the next day. Come well, on. What? <laughs> hey, I, I got something. Can I kick in? Wow. Yeah. Let, let me, I got a flip side on that one. What about the spiritual fornication that's going on? Uh-oh. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Same hmm. thing. Yes, sure. yes. Come on. No commitment. Preach it, man. Well, it's the same thing because because here it is the word of God. Watch this now, and I want you to I want you to continue, Pastor Mike. But but you 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 hit a you hit a big one right there. 
Because you mm. sit in church, you sit and and you 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 watch this. You sit and you're supposed to be in, in taking the word of God, but yet your mind is committing fornication with the things of the devil. Mm-hmm. Come on, preach it now. Okay. Yep. So is a man thinking was he? Come on. So is he? Yes. Abundant out of the abundance of the heart. You keep wow. sitting around. You keep sitting around and watch this. You commit spiritual fornication on God. If you mean he's that supposed run- to be your husband, if he is supposed to be your husband, why are you sitting around thinking about other lovers? Running home uh-huh. movies. Running the home movies in your brain. <laughs> No, you're sitting around thinking about other gods, other oh, things. Uh oh. If God is supposed to be your 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 savior, your love, your husband man. Yes. Why are you sitting around dating other gods in your spirit? Uh oh. All right. <laughs> there it is. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Well, you know, this is what goes on uh, because we see the outcome today because there's a church on every corner. You know, like a wow. bank on every corner or a Walgreens on every corner. Come on. You notice there's a yes, Walgreens sir. on every corner, like a bank on every corner, or a filling state, I mean, convenience store on every corner. Come on. There's a, there's a church on every corner almost here in America. Mm-hmm. And, you know, at the known world, there was... 11 disciples that turned the world upside down. And here yes. in America, we've got, there's churches galore. And mm. everybody is setting, mm. I'm going to use a metaphor, they're sitting at the beach in a lawn chair, sipping iced tea, eating potato chips, and watching the waves come in. Why the whole world just what in hell do they want? Because mm-hmm. I didn't say a cuss word, folks. I didn't cuss. What in hell do they want? Because they're just sitting there in church doing nothing and get out of church and do nothing. They're just a sea slug. They're just do nothing. They're, they're not a doer of the word. They're a hearer of the word only. They get out of church. They uh, get out into the car and they start an argument or start fighting and fussing and ranting and raving and they get home kick the dog in the gut when they see the dog and you know they fuss at the neighbors and pop open a, a cool one because it's uh, the preacher says they can do all things in moderation i can have a few cool ones and not get drunk just knock off the edge of life you know just don't get drunk you know, come on, and, you know, just feel good, and, you know, come on, that's a bunch of hogwash, folks. This is the reason why we've got the situation that is in the world right now. God is allowing things to happen because God allows what man allows. If God, if man put his spiritual foot down Amen. and used his spiritual authority because we've got people, leadership, and leaders and the church charging hell with water pistols. They're not doing anything. They think they are because they've been told it's an AR-15, but actually it's an AR-15 water pistol. It's got filled with water. It, there's no power because they don't know, they've not been taught the truth of the word from the pulpit because of the hirelings keep passing the plate around and driving the Bentleys and all the Mercedes Benz and living in the big fancy houses. And not all of them, folks, because I know I'm going to get a bunch of hate mail and I'm not bagging on all pastors, but this is the majority because they're a bunch of hirelings. And yes, we have there is good pastors, there's good evangelists, there's good fivefold ministries out there. 
but the majority I'm talking about here in America. Because if they were all good here in America, we wouldn't be in the situation we're in, and we wouldn't have to have welfare. We wouldn't have to have all this uh, government-subsidized stuff because the churches would be doing what they were supposed to be doing. We wouldn't have to be having all this stuff. Come on. The only reason that the, there is welfare is because the state had to step in because the church is not doing its job. Come on. Let's get it right, folks. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. because the church is so stinking greedy. I want my million mm -hmm. dollars. They're Ebenezer Scrooge sat, sitting over in a corner counting their money. Can't show me the money, honey. You know, pass the plate around some more. Let's do it again. Come on. You know, God forbid if you don't pay all your tithes and your lights get shut off. Come on. What about the elderly lady that's on Social Security and she's a widow woman and the church should be helping her out and paying her electric bill, taking care of that woman, but do you think they're doing it? Eh, wrong. They're not. For the majority, not not the minority. I'm talking mm -hmm. the majority here, folks. I'm not on a rampage. I'm just telling you the facts of what is taking place here in America. And this is the reason why judgment is getting ready to fall here shortly upon this nation. And it's coming like a like a hurricane comes in uh, from the south uh, from down in the tropics. And you've seen them come in, Apostle. They come in. And you know when they're coming, and when it hits, you better, Katie, bar the door, better be inside, and batten down the hatches, because it's going to have all types of destruction coming, and God is going to bring havoc. Romans, Romans 8. Go ahead. I'm, can y'all still hear me? I'm, I'm, yeah. Romans 8, 8, Romans 8 and 9, and then we're going we're gonna to close out for this week. Romans 8, 8 says, So then that are in the flesh cannot what? Please God. You cannot uh -huh. please God in your flesh. Uh -huh. 8 and 9 says, But ye are not in the flesh, but what? In the spirit. Right. In your spirit. Mm -hmm. So it would be mm -hmm. that the spirit of God dwells within you in spirit. Your spirit. Amen. The spirit of God dwelleth in you. It's in your Amen. spirit. You are Amen. in the flesh. In your it, 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 it's threefold. We're spirit, body, and flesh. Amen. Amen. Spirit, body, Amen. and soul. And Amen. In spirit and in your soul dwells your body. <laughs> And God is supposed to dwell in that, in the spirit and the soul. Whether it be right. any man hot and not the spirit, watch this. Have, watch this. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful, you other religions. Have not the spirit of Christ. We are identifying what spirit? The mm -hmm. spirit of Christ. That's right. That's, That's right. right. That's right. You say, oh, there's many ways to get to God. No, you got to come through Christ. That's wow. Jesus. If, if, if he's not the one, it's not God. Amen. 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 Yeah, man. If I could just. Amen. Amen. If I can say one thing on that, you know, like uh, the pastor was saying earlier about a lot of churches, you know, on every corner, you know, if I would say this, you know, there are a lot of churches out there, man. I mean, everywhere I go now, this is all I see churches and churches popping up everywhere. But Jesus Christ said, uh, upon this rock, I will be a, my church, you know, and it ain't but one church. And that's Jesus Christ's church. And it's the one that's built on faith. And faith alone, and uh, what done happened? We got so many churches now. We got a lot of denominations. We got a lot of people, you know, saying they're right and they're right and this is right and this is right. It ain't but one right, and that's Christ's way. You know, we do that. 
you know, all the rest of the stuff would come together. You know, I think we um, have left Christ, left our first love. That's that's the problem. And like he was saying, how this world is coming, you know, in the chaos and all this, it's very true. That is so very true, man. And it's because we have left our first love, you know. Uh, it's become now, you know, uh, a, a thing of who's right and who's wrong. And, and it's, it's, it's not that. It's not right or wrong. It's who loves Christ enough to get up and do something about it. That's how I feel about the situation. If I love Jesus Christ, then I would love my brothers and sisters as well. You know, and if I see them in need, if I see them out there hurting, and if we would pick one another up, like you said, it won't be no need for welfare and all this thing. You were right, man. You were very right. But you don't have nobody out there to help one another anymore. That's the thing, man. Back in the day, the churches come together. The Bible said it. On the first day of each week, they came together, they break bread, and they went and talked, and they went out to different houses, and they shared what they had. That's, this is why, you know, it wasn't no need for the welfare and all this thing now. People don't do that stuff now, man. There's no more love. All the love has left the world, man. You know, it's, it's hard to find anybody to give you anything anymore. It's hard to find anybody to help out a brother or sister that's in need. So this is what we have to do. If we go back to our first love, then, I think then, you know, God said, you know, he, you know, he will hear from us, you know, humble ourselves, pray, and seek his faith. Then he would, he would hear, and then he would heal us. He would heal the land. And this is all I have to say about it, man. I, and God bless y'all again, man. You know, it's real good, real good. Go ahead, Pastor. That's the final word. No, I said about it all. I'm good to go. All right, all right, all right. Oh, we 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 just scratched the surface. We just scratched the surface. I wanna, I, I want you to ingest what you heard. Read these scriptures. Read back over them. We gave you the scriptures, and we gave you where they were found. Open your Bible and read them for yourself, and 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 hear what the Spirit is saying. Because, again, well, why you, I want to stress this, because where God is taking us, we won't get there in the flesh. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> it, it, it's impossible to get there through the flesh. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> the, mindset, the place that God is trying to take us, it's impossible to get there through the flesh. We're going to have to go <laughs> through the spirit, and it's going to take the spiritual mind. And so, as we are in the beginning of this year, God is trying to re-regulate our minds, renewing of our minds. We're going in with a different mindset, and and we're going in with a new vision, a, a new a new fire, a new sense of what God. Our watch this, a new sense of what our purpose is on this earth. Yes, yes. As the body of Christ, see. This is what this is what this is what this is what Pastor Mike was saying. Uh, a lot of preachers have forgot what their purpose is. Mm, yeah. A lot of ministries have forgot what their purpose is. Listen, listen. Let me tell you, I don't have a problem with the bit. No, I don't, because I'm saying that drive one myself. But with that in mind, with that in mind, that ain't my full focus. Hey. I, I, if, I, if I get it, thank God. If I don't, thank God. But still, if I can buy myself a Bentley, I'm not going to spend three hundred thousand dollars on myself a Bentley and see my brother need a car only thirty thousand dollars, hey, and won't buy him a car. Are Come you on. Me? Yes, yes. So, <laughs> well, yeah. you see me in the Bentley, you believe me. Believe me, I have bought and picked. And this, guess what? With what I'm driving now, my wife and I have beat us in you. Mm. There's a man mm. of God. There's a man of God. Why? Wow, but he got a bit, yes, but he's a man of God. Yeah, he got I'm a big Yes, but he got a, yeah, he's a man of God. He got a big church. Why he got a big church? Because he's a, it's, it's churches that can do all of these things in their community, but now they're sitting around trying to break it off. No, that's not the kind of ministry. That this is. I want you to mark my words. Take my words. Hear me today what I'm saying. Because when you see the name Stephen Amaker, 
when you see the name Apostle Stephen Amaker, when you see the name Deliverance by 